The grills get bigger and your chances of working on it get smaller. Uh, how much yellow? Damn, dude. SW20, big turbo. Audi, the only company ever that's like, let's put the whole entire engine in front of the axle line. Yo, a little bit of change of pace for me. I'm not normally a car show guy, but my boys over at Haggerty hit me up and told me to bring two cars out to Radwood, so we're here. We're also at Amelia Island, which has a bunch of other massive concourse car shows going on. So we're gonna check it out. Maybe love some cars, talk some shit about other cars, and see what this place is about. Everybody should be completely prepared for my massive ADD <laughs> at this type of a scenario, because I have like a lot of love for way too many different cars. Continental, sick. This Lotus, way sicker. It's got spin-offs on it, dude, knockoffs. You take a lead hammer and you hit those to tighten the wheel on. Bunch of Webers on there. Probably sounds really good. OG Bronco with the toe mirrors flipped. Classic KC highlighters. Yeah, this is nice too. It's such like a weird face to it. Yeah, bug-eyed spirit, dude. It's a very happy car. It is. Me me. Four speed. Damn, that's a good color combo. Yeah. Ugly blue license plate. Thanks, Florida. Classic car. The ugliest blue you've ever seen in your life. Clown shoe. And he's got a clown shoe in it. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I love all these little little cars. They're so small. Yeah, the little cars are your jam. Man. The Elan right here, dude. Look at that dash, the little shifter. It's so dainty. I love it. It's cool. I'm more of a 348 guy than a 360 guy. If I'm gonna have a slow Ferrari, I want one that has the maximum amount of style possible. <laughs> so I'm a big old Mercedes guy. You'd never know because I don't own any. Oh, I do. I have a 190 16 valve, but it's been sitting in a field for seven years. Seven years. Neglected. It's getting a K series swap that never happened. But, dude, look at this 500 right here. Perfection. I don't know if it gets any better than this. This is pretty much it. Got your cup holders in the back. 200 mile an hour SUV. Yeah, all the older Mercedes were like that. Panasonic GPS, dude, Uniwiper. Oh yeah, that is a good color. This thing's sweet, too. Big coupe. Big boy. The engine looks so big. They're huge, it's a six, six liter, I think. They want to make big, smooth power, that's the thing. Crazy arrow kit on it, 1000 SCC. Yeah, butterfly doors. Gullwing doors. Check out the interior on this SL, dude. It's like the inside of a Miami subs. <laughs> Lello, yellow, Lello. Uh, how much yellow? Damn, dude. Shoo! That thing is it. I like the yellow center console and, and trim pieces, too. Walking on sunshine, dude. The Sunshine Life 600, bro. <laughs> Look at this Brabus SL, dude. Stunting hard, man. Let's go back. Let's just rewind this to late 90s. Do you know how many drugs were sold out of these cars? <laughs> Let's really talk about this. Actually, to be honest with you, not sold out of these cars. Sold by the people these guys employed. Hustling so hard. Look at this two-tone 500, dude. Pull up, dude. Pull up. Just imagine the 90s pulling up to the club in that. Dude, the biddies be flocking, dude. Or the or the like veil side Brabus crazy wide body thing on here. I think it's Koenig maybe. Oh yeah, on the on the eight inch lipped Gotties, dude. Metric tires. Jesus, dude. I'm just saying, we're pulling up, dude. And I'm doing big timer burnouts in this manual boy over here. You know you're flossing when you got proper fitting steelies. It's a flex. It is a flex. A good one, too. I like it. Panasports on this. Thank you, dude. But what I also have for you, See, see, this is the last generation of cool GT cars to me. 997.1. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Yeah, <laughs> you can have a new a new GT3. I'll I'll take it. I'll take this guy home. E39 M5s were seven grand any day of the week for like ever, and then COVID came and they're sixty thousand dollars now. I don't even get it. 
they're not that great. I like them, but they're not that great. They're not 60 grand great. Hot take, you blew it not buying them for seven to 15 grand. If you're buying them for 40, 50, 60, I don't know if, I, if we're boys. So the E39 M5, very simple engine bay. Everything's accessible. You got your dual intakes, there's ITBs inside of this plenum. It's got a bunch of stacks and stuff, but it comes off with just some very short turn wrench there. Everything's serviceable. Alternator on this car, pain in the ass. It's water cooled, not, not ideal. E60, a little bit more shit going on inside, but I feel like we could still work on this car a little bit. And you're like, oh, let me jump in the new one. What's the new one like? Ah! What do we do? They what do we do? Down there, the silver one. What do we do with this? What the? What is this? There's shit everywhere and hoses everywhere and fucking wires and. That goes to the diddler. You're like, I could replace this hose, maybe. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. The diddlers. The grills get bigger and your chances of working on it get smaller. I'm a pretty big fan of the newer Morgan stuff with like the flat sided like. So like this guy here, it's like m more modern take on the older car, but like I love the flat cut sides and like the way the arrow works. It's a little bit of a Corella DeVille type car, but it's pretty sick. I think it would be a lot of fun to drive these because I hear they've got pretty, pretty uh, fun suspension and stuff in them. 993, 3.8, raspberry red metallic. And they got the matching getups and all, oh, look at that, dude. Many years that is. Yep, that's right. I don't match any of my cars that are here. I'm blowing it. I should have brought black cars, I guess. You gotta match your car. Gotta match your car. That's it. Narrow body. See, I say it comes with age. Now I just want narrow body cars. The things I would do for this car. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Hand painted. Imagine being that good with lines with your hand that you could draw that. That's really nice. That's like a $40,000 car now. Oh, it's got some modifications too. I know, a little anti-gravity battery in there. We got AP racing brakes. They're the same. They're the same. Arguably, this is better, to be honest with you. Just gonna throw that out there. Hot take. Not arguably anymore. This is better. 20 valve swap. This is my 20 valve brother and we're the two 20 valves hanging at the party right now. Inline five, dude. This Ludacris is one of his, his favorite car right here. Nice. Oh, it's a TDS diesel boy. Interesting. That? I want to live the van life, dude. Dude, that's living the van life. Uh, you're probably a little too tall for a Japanese van life. Not with the pen up top. Yeah, you should see how small everything is in there. <laughs> Another AW11, Betamax cam in the passenger seat, dude. Shoo! And another 20 valve swapped one. Oh, this is swapped. So this has a, what is that, a 2AR? I don't know what that is. What is that? No, I think it's just a straight three cylinder. Is, it the, is that the, another bank over here. Oh, is there? Okay, so it's Camry motor probably. That's cool, the big Camry motor. Like the newer three point whatever. 32 GTR over here. What? She said played out. <laughs> Man, my wife is savage, dude. Of all the cars I've owned, that's definitely a good one. That was a great car to own at some point. It's a Mark 1, so it's a Mark 1 Golf from the door forward and a pickup truck from there back. So it's front wheel drive. I didn't know these were factory. I thought that was always a, like a kit that people No, you there. could buy them like that. No, yeah, caddy. That bed's bigger than most dudes. Yeah, six and a half, six, well, six and a quarter you know that bed. Not no. I used to tow a little trailer with mine and everything, dude. Oh, what we got here? SW20, big turbo, 1.2 million miles, 240D. I bet you the interior still looks brand new, too. The interior of these cars doesn't age, ever. Oh, he got the PS1. <laughs> he knows. Celica. Celica Supra, dude. I know, I remember growing up and being like, those cars were like kind of buckets, dude. Nobody wanted them. And now everyone's like, dude, the rear end's worth like $6,000 now. Oh, Ford Motorsports livery on the Fox over here. The sick livery, damn, we got the Kenwood deck with the equalizer too. Shooey. That's definitely a Sylvia headlight. Oh, it's an Autech Zagato. Damn, look at that, purple M3 right there. Pretty sick. 
The Corolla's nice too, dang. I like the Nacaduct here for the cooling. This is throwback right here, dude. This is when people who raced really raced. A little carbon dash setup, mechanical everything, switches, all of that, cable throttle still. No cockpit adjustable sway bars. The ECU is right here. <laughs> and it's huge. Oh, wow. And it probably does the same as an iPhone 3. Dude, factory looking door handles, those are not door handles. So two Bosch 044 pumps, inverted conies. I like the wheel well, just scabbed in there. Little turbo mirror, but mounted inboard and through the quarter window. 1985 Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Dude, look how sick these seats are. Those seats are so sick. They're like newer Kevlar ones rewrapped, it looks like. That's cool. So it still has a working speedometer, odometer. Boost gauge goes at 2.5 bar, dude. Let's party. Coke it is. Wasser temp. <laughs> Coke it is, let's go. 9,000 RPM tack. All mechanical gauges, all the relays are in the dash, popped in, so you could just pop new relays in while you're driving. These never really went that fast. It was all about the arrow and the dig and getting out of every turn as fast as possible. I bet you on a stage, this would never really go faster than 110 miles an hour, probably. Rally cages are so weird to me. Diff cooler fans, pulling air in, cool the diff, it's cool. FBRX7, dude. NSX on the Techno Mags. Dirty. How it should be. Drove it here from Texas. Rolling like a slant nose. Turbo slant nose over here. Widowmaker, bro. I was saying earlier, I wish I could find a reason to own one of these because I really would love nothing more to have one of these with like cold AC that runs super nice and just daily drive it. Cause I feel like this is like, the e how the E36 is to my generation is how this was to someone who's like 15 years older than me. It's the same, it's like small, light, like even though E36s now are bigger and heavier and whatnot, this was the same of that generation. It's like, I think it's like an early, eight, like 81 or 82, 83. What? OBS. Oh, I'm like, what are you doing? That is OBS. Gasser though, I don't know. Still OBS though. Turbo 318Ti. I'm not a big top mount fan for that reason because you got a lot and then it heats up the coil packs and all that stuff. It's def bottom mount is definitely, for me, better but you don't get the look of having a turbo up top. Yeah. It's, it actually annoys me because it doesn't fit. Like that doesn't look good there because it doesn't fit there. Your car is sick, but bottom mount would have been better. Jordan tuned it, your cheer boy. Yeah, that wing is rare, dude. GT1, dude. You know, they had to call and borrow headlights from my 996 for this car, you know? 996 taillights too, dude. Oh, nice. With like a two liter ABA motor or something. So all wheel drive, two matching engines. Oh, what? Yep. Two turbo, like, I guess maybe, I don't know, one eight or two liter. 16 valve. Why does it need two motors? To go fast. Back, oh, you can't make fast. you can't make a thousand horsepower out of those, but you can make 500 mm. twice. Audi, literally the only company ever that's like, let's put the whole entire engine in front of the axle line. Five cylinder turbo, big boy. What a huge exhaust too, a four inch exhaust behind there. Super cool. Proof that when you build proper engine harnesses, they stay together. Two sets of injectors per cylinder in the intake manifold. All the coil packs and everything are tucked in way behind back here. And look at this giant trash can muffler here off the side. It's cool. Still glass front windshield. Dude, that's Audi, dude. They love doing that shit. Five cylinders in front of the tire. Not even the axle line, the front of the tire.
What's the word? We're here after the show at Haggerty. Had a little get together, shindig, and uh, they invited us out. So we put the M3 out front. We got Adam's car inside. I'll show you a few of the other cars that are here. We got a Ferrari coupe thing. I don't know exactly what that is. I'm not super well versed in new cars that are out of my payroll. Um, there's a Mercedes 280 SEL. Nice. I think I no we'll look at the badge. <laughs> Um, but I think it's a 280. Those are really cool because they're pretty compact, but they're uh, actually really comfortable cars to drive. Got a Targa air-cooled car, and then we got this Ferrari that's actually super sick. I, it's some sort of kit car, I believe, but it's uh, got a Testarossa motor in it, uh, 12 individual throttle bodies with like port injection, proper like injection. Uh, it's on a Motec M150. It looks like a lightweight battery with some equal length headers, um, dry sump, and it's really like a pretty gnarly setup in this thing. Very modernized uh, Testarossa motor. It's got some bucket seats in it, center mounted mirror, which is cool, and uh, just overall like a kind of modern resto mod take to a, to a car that you wouldn't normally see. Got a 1M here that's pretty sick. These cars are getting crazy in value as well. Got an RS pulling up in here. The, that's one of the best right there, dude. That's about where it ends for me in buying Porsches. The newer ones are not as cool. The Maserati thing here. Another new Ferrari. I don't know what these are. Let me look what these are. I think it says it right here. Just because I don't even know. A Ferrari Roma, 3.9 twin turbo, straight pipe people, dude. Look at the size of that wing, dude. We may want to redo that just because, like, when they were going past, the mic was peaking a little bit. Okay, well, sorry for peaking the mic. We're not going to redo it. <laughs> Your headphone users beware. Blame the guy with the GT3 and a small pee pee. Um, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Check this out tiny little wipers. Yeah, super cool. Um, I don't know what this is. It's a I believe it's a 5 Series 3.3 Li, so it's predating most of the E, the codes, I believe. I could be wrong. I feel like it might be an E12 or something, because E9 was the coupe version. I don't know. A little, again, a little out of my book here. And then we got a 356 uh, like Carrera chassis here, which is kind of sick. Looks like he's been to VIR and some other really cool places. That Big flat wheel, really cool seats. A little bit of an update in there. Really kind of a neat car. This would be a car that would be like even pre my Alpha by far. So kind of neat. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit of a different pace here, but I'm out. I'm about to go have some fun.